Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hope you're all doing good, you're all healthy. So let's have some productive time learning 5G. It's an evolving technology and we are using on the daily basis. So what you're using is a real 5G or something looks like 5G, all that clarifications we'll have as we move on with the sessions. So in this session, we are going to have the introduction on 5G. Let's get started then. Agenda is what is 5G, why is 5G required, and how is it different from the other networks? What is 5G? As you can see on the screen, 5G is the fifth generation mobile network. What does it actually mean? So that represents the latest iterations of mobile wireless technology designed to supersede the 4G networks. 5G promises a transformative leap in terms of speed, connectivity, responsiveness, and capacity. Here is a brief introduction to 5G and its significance. Again, what is 5G? 5G, 5G is again the fifth generation mobile network. It is new global wireless standard after first, second, third, and fourth generation networks. 5G enables a new kind of network that is designed to connect virtually everyone and everything to and everything together, including machines, objects, and devices. 5G wireless technology is meant to deliver higher multi gigabits per second peak data rates, ultra low latency, more reliability, massive network capacity, increased availability, and a more uniform user experience to more users. Higher performance and improved efficiency empower new user experiences to connect new industries. And it also connects several new industries together. Fifth generation wireless, Technology is the latest iteration of cellular technology engineered to greatly increase the speed and responsiveness of wireless networks. With 5G data, data transmitted over wireless broadband connections can travel at multi gigabit speeds with potential peak speeds as high as 20 gigabits per second by some estimates. These speeds exceed wireline network speeds and offer latency of below 5 milliseconds or lower which is useful for applications that require real-time feedback 5g will enable a sharp increase in the amount of data transmitted over wireless systems due to more available bandwidth and advanced antenna technology 5G networks and services will be deployed in stages over the next several years to accommodate the increasing reliance of mobile and internet enabled devices. Overall, 5G is expected to generate a variety of new applications, uses, and business cases as the technology is rolled out. Why 5G? Don't you think uh, it's an interesting question when we already had 4G which supported higher data rates, faster download capacity, then why again 5G? So the development and deployment of 5G wireless technology came as a response to the increasing demand for faster and more reliable mobile internet connectivity as well as the evolution of technology and the proliferation of devices requiring high speed connections. Here are some of the key reasons and advantages of 5G. Higher speeds. 5G offers significantly faster data download and upload speeds compared to 4G. This is crucial for the rapid downloading and streaming of content, especially as high definition video streaming and cloud-based applications become more prevalent. Then lower latency. 5G provides reduced latency, that is the delay before the transfer of data begins compared to previous generations this is vital for real-time applications like online gaming video conferencing and virtual reality then we have increased capacity 5g networks can handle more devices simultaneously this is important as the number of connected devices including iot internet of things devices continues to grow then we have better connectivity 5G technology offers more stable and reliable connections even in busy areas or at peak times. 
It supports new technologies. The low latency and high speeds of 5G make it suitable for emerging technologies and applications such as augmented reality, virtual reality, and autonomous vehicles. Uh, also, if you have any doubts on all these things, you can simply put it on a comment section. I can help you with that. Uh, next, we have network slicing. We will all be, we will be learning about network slicing uh, slowly as we go down with the sessions. 5G allows for network slicing where, where operators can create multiple virtual networks within a single 5G network. This capability ensures that various services can have network conditions optimized for their specific needs. Then we have improved efficiency. 5G networks are designed to be more efficient than previous generations, consuming less power and therefore benefiting both operators and the environment broadband and alternatives in some regions deploying 5g might be more cost effective than laying traditional broadband cables 5g can potentially serve as an alternative to traditional broadband in such areas economic and societal benefits the deployment of 5g networks can lead to the creation of new jobs stimulate local economies and provide the foundation for smart cities where infrastructure and services are interconnected enhanced machine to machine communication 5G is designed to better support the Internet of Things, ensuring that devices can communicate more efficiently with the minimal, minimal or negligible delay. How 5G is different? While 5G offers many advantages, its rollout also comes with challenges such as infrastructure cost, concerns about health and radiation, and the need for new hardware that supports 5G. Nonetheless, as adoption grows, 5G has the potential to revolutionize how we use and interact with technology. So the previous generations like first, second, third, and fourth generation, and the first generation came out in the early 1980s, and the first generation delivered analog voice. Second generation, it came uh, in 1990s that had a digital voice. Here you can see uh, with the ex example CDMA code division multiple access. And also if you have doubt on anything like CDMA and CDMA 2000, you can simply put it in the comment section so that I can come with a clarify clarification video for you. For you all third generation so in early 2000s 3g brought mobile data in fourth generation 4g long-term evolution it is the era uh, is the era of uh, mobile broadband first second third and 4g this all technologies or the generation led to now 5g technology where not only the uh, not only it helps for mobile to mobile communication but also the machine to machine communication iot's and much more 5G is a unified capable air interface, more capable air interface. So as I also told that it is more reliable than the wireline connections, right? It has been designed with an extended capacity to enable next generation user experiences and new deployment models. And it is delivering a new and advanced services. With high speed, superior reliability, and negligible latency, 5G will expand the mobile ecosystem into new realms. 5G will impact every industry, making safer transportation, remote healthcare, precision agriculture, digitized logistics, and more a reality. Then, uh, also before the conclusion, before the conclusion we can discuss like while uh, 5g offers like many advantages enhanced performance metrics why as we discuss speed latency increased capacity ne network flexibility broadband applications then infrastructure and deployment frequency spectrum all these things uh, we will discuss in detail in the next session but now in the conclusion 5g as you can see it it is not just an incremental improvement over 4g or any other networks it's a transformative leap that is holding a promise to reshape the industries foster new technologies and change the way we interact with digital ecosystems as any technological evolution there are challenges to overcome from infrastructure investments to health and environmental concerns but the potential benefits of 5g make it central focus 
for the next phase of uh, digital revolu revolution so now for any doubt you can uh, mail me on this email that is learn with sumi 2020 at gmail.com and thank you for watching video keep growing keep watching and do not forget to share if you find it useful